Can we create a seven-piece backing band just using the session players here in Logic Pro for iPad? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go. If you'd like to learn how to use the session players and all the other cool features here in Logic Pro for iPad, check out the more than 50 videos in the description. Because today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to use just the session player to see if we can play along with a little melody line that we've written here and make it sound like a full seven piece band. Here's the melody I've written. I've grabbed the piano and just played this in. It sounds like this. So just a little eight bar motif that I want to build around. So let's see how many tracks we can create here with the session players to build out our band. Now, before we go adding our session players, why don't we change the lead instrument here to something a bit more fun? So to do that, we're gonna tap on the browser here in the bottom left and I'm thinking like a saxophone here. So why don't we search for sax and uh, find one of our saxophones. I'm thinking the alto sax. What about this one here? That's a cool sound. So we've got replace on, so we just need to tap that one and then turn this off. And now we've got this saxophone. Does this sound cool? Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Let's build our band. We're gonna hit the plus button here and let's start by adding some keys, some actual piano. I think some piano will work well with this. So we've gone to session player, we've selected keyboard player and we've tapped on that button. We've now added a keyboard player. Out of the gate is going to sound like this. Not bad, you can hear there that just the default sounds pretty good, but we don't want this to be no default band. The whole cool thing about the session player is we can dial in and make it sound exactly the way we want. So let's start playing. We can tap here and decide whether we want this freely, broken chords, block chords are arpeggiated. I kind of like the freely for this one. I'm gonna use some other instruments for some simpler parts here. I am gonna make the complexity go down a little bit and also the intensity down a little bit. I might put my left hand a little lower there and maybe my right hand a little higher so we can make all these changes let's reduce the amount of fills that we get here as well and the complexity of those fills what about the left and right hand i like the root only with a simple style here let's make our voicing up the top maybe just a three voice as opposed to the full tone and uh, let's give it a play and see what we've created <laughs> Pretty good because once we start building, we don't want too much complexity in there. We might want to push that up a little bit later. Let's leave that for now and go to our next player. Let's keep it simple and go with a bass. So we're going to hit the plus button, session player. This time we're going bass player. We're going to tap on that one. And here is our bass player ready to go. It's using the pop songwriter, which might not be bad for this. It's kind of a pop song. Let's see what it's got out of the gate. <laughs> Yeah, probably a few too many notes there. So once again, let's pull the complexity down to make it a little bit less complex. And we can start playing around with the different rhythms here if we want to as well. Let's just hear it with the less complex, with just these two notes. You can see it's already changed it to two notes. Let's take a listen. That sounds pretty good to me. Just simple. Again, if you're building out a band, you can add complexity later, but I'm going to keep it simple because we're layering up sounds here. Let's hit the details tab here and just see if there's anything we need to change here. Slides, we'll turn those down a bit. We won't need too many slides here. We'll add a little bit of dead note just to give it that feel there. And the human eyes, we want it to be kind of on the grid, but we'll just add a little human in there. Tempo can stay standard. I think we're going to leave that as is, except maybe let's just make the phrasing a bit longer. That's just going to connect our notes together because it's more of a ballad style. Let's take a listen. I think that's too much. So let's go back to medium phrasing on that one and uh, move on to our next player. Keeping with the simple theme, let's hit the plus button and add a drummer. Session player, go to drummer and tap on this one. The new drummer here in Logic Pro for iPad 2 has been given so many cool new things. Let's see what the pop rock drummer sounds like out of the gate here. <laughs> 
not the feel we're going for at all. We need something a little bit more laid back and relaxed here. So we can change that up here by tapping here on the pop rock drummer. What do we want here? We probably want more of a songwriter style. So let's go with a pop songwriter for our drummer. That will change up our style here. Let's give it a play and take a listen. A little bit closer to what we want, but are you feeling what I'm feeling? That it needs to go to half time. Here's the beauty part of the session players. We can adjust that right here. If we go to the details tab down here where it's got tempo, we can actually change this to half time really quick and easy. You used to have to change the entire tempo, like half or double the tempo to do this stuff. Now, half time, and you get the same drums, but in half time. Not bad, pretty good. What I want to do though is I'm going to use the follow feature here to follow the bass because I kind of want to go doom, doom. I want to use that same bass pattern. So let's tap here and what we can actually do, no, not that one, we want this one, follow here. At the moment it's following the chords, but we can also ask it to follow a track. So we can follow the simple foundation, which is our bass track. And now we get the drums sitting more in with that bass. Now we can adjust some of the details here. So I want a few more ghost notes to make it sound a little more authentic. And I'm actually going to even add a little more complexity and bring up the dynamics so that we're getting a little bit more of feel in there. Human eyes will leave that around sort of the 15% as well. So it doesn't sound too uh, on the grid. And let's uh, give it a play. One more thing. I think we need to bring this up onto our ride symbol. So we can actually tap right there on the ride symbol, not that one or that one, there we go, on the ride symbol, and we can choose what pattern we want here. So I think on the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, let's see if this is gonna work for us here with this ride symbol. Again, pretty simple, yeah? Let's turn the fill amount up a bit. Let's just see if we can add some little fills in there as well. So it's gonna give us a little fill as we come in here to the end of the eight bars. We're gonna go with that for now, remembering we can tweak it later. Now we're going to get into the more complex stuff. Let's dive into our next player. I don't know about you, but I'm hearing an organ. I'm hearing some nice, meh, meh, some nice organ chords over the top of this. So we can do that with our keyboard session player. Let's hit the plus button, go to session player, go back to our keyboard, hit on the big button there, and here's our keyboard session player. Now this time, instead of freely, we want to tap this one and we want to go to this, the simple pad. Now by default, the simple pad is going to be this classic analog pad that's going to sound like like this. Not too bad, I want to break free, uh, but we wanna go with something different here. So to change up our sound, we simply tap in the bottom left. It's already gonna be here in instrument patches. There's our search for sax, we'll turn that one off. And this time we're going to tap the search button, type in the word organ. And here are all of our organ options. I'm thinking like a jazz organ for this one. Let's uh, take a listen. Yeah, I reckon that's going to be good. And now this time we'll turn off the insert instrument because some folks might like to use this method, which is to tap, drag and dump on your track there. And that's going to change to our jazz organ. Let's listen to this now with these uh, chords in isolation. Pretty good. That's pretty good. So let's go back and unsolo this and bring this back in with the rest of our uh, instruments. Not bad, I'd actually like it a little higher. So we can do that, we can move the hands here and just bring things up a little bit and you can see there it'll change the notes there. The other thing we can do is change here from the voicing, so the full chord at the moment. Sometimes using the fixed inversion here can actually give it a little bit of variety as opposed to, if everything's just playing its standard one, three, five, eight kind of chord, it gets a bit boring. So let's try a fixed inversion on this one and hit play. Not 
bad, maybe a little high, so we can bring it back down. Let's just gently bring those hands down, and every time we change it, we get a slightly different sound. That's it. I really like that. So there's our organ. Let's move on to our next player. Now, I know we've got the bass here, but I'm actually hearing maybe some cellos as well doing like a boom. Mom, 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 to go along with this so we can actually use the bass player to play some cellos. I know, cool, right? Let's hit the plus button here. Session player, this time we're going to tap and select bass player and open up a new bass player here, but we're not really going to use it as a bass player. We're going to instead change our instrument. To do that, we tap in the bottom left here and we're here in instrument patches. We can hit the search button. Let's search out a cello, shall we? We'll type in cello and there you go. We've got our uh, melody could be interesting, Mellotron cellos, but we're actually going to go with this, the studio cellos. And uh, this time we'll use the replace method. We'll tap replace and tap that one. So it's changed up this bass, which was doing this bomb, 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 and it's changed this to cellos. Let's solo it so we can take a listen to what we've got. Not bad, right? We can change the rhythm of this. So at the moment, it's dump, dump, dump. We can actually do a manual pattern. Yeah, this is where it gets more control. People will criticize this because they're like, it's AI, it does everything for you. No, you program, you're the human. You're just programming these players to do what you say. So I actually want this to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Nope, about there, I reckon. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Let's see if I've actually got this right. So I want it to sound like this. No, I've done it at double time. Dump, 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 dump. I think I did it more like that. Let's see if this is going to work. Yes, but this one has to be a little bit later and delayed. So what about this? Perfect. That's exactly what I want with this. So let's bring this back in with the rest of our track. And I think this is going to create a really nice texture. It's done something a bit weird there. Look, these things are not perfect and they won't work perfectly every time. Sometimes just hitting this button here and making it do it again works out better. Mm, didn't work so well there. Let's try a different style. If at first you don't succeed, try again. I'm leaving this in. Let's come back here. Instead of a manual pattern, let's just use one of the predetermined patterns and see if one of these will work because sometimes you've got an idea, but trying something different works as well. Let's hit play. No, I don't really like that one. I need something a little simpler. So what about something like this? Absolutely not. Let's go back to the original pattern and uh, try this one. That's not bad. I think if we reduce the complexity on that one, yeah, there you go. Now we've got just the two hits and this is more what I was looking for. Very cool. And we can change things around again. If we want the lower notes to be even lower, we can drop it down and get some lower notes there. But we're going to leave this one up at the E to get more of the, the, the bass sort of sound that we wanted here. So there you go. There is how you can program these in. And of course, you can use this for double basses, for any other sort of bass sound or instrument, just by changing your instrument over here in the instrument patches. So we now have six pieces of our seven piece band. We've got ourselves some sax, some piano, some bass, some cellos. We've got some drums and we've got an organ. Let's finish things off with a bit of a Rhodes sound, a little bit of an electric piano sound. So to do that, we'll hit the plus button. We'll come in here to our session player, go to keyboard player and tap it. Again, you get into the groove after a while, don't you? This time, I think we need some either broken chords or arpeggiated chords here. So let's start with the broken chords, see how this works for us. And uh, immediately we're gonna change our instrument by tapping in the bottom left here and going to our instrument patches. Let's get rid of our cello and let's find ourselves an E 
the piano. To do this, I'm going to tap on keyboard, and this time I want an electric keyboard, so that's going to bring it down to this one. You've got a bunch of different options here. I like the either classic or modern here under the deluxe, so your classic sounds like this. And your modern. I think the modern's going to be better for this one. Let's this time use the dump method. We're going to tap and hold and drag it over and dump it on our new instrument, which is created. Which one was it? Was it this one here? Uh, let's dump it there. There we go. So now we've got the deluxe modern here playing some broken chords. Let's solo it and see what it's going to sound like without any changes. Yeah, probably playing too much, a little bit too busy there. So I'm actually going to move this and go to the arpeggiated, which is another cool method. Uh, and let's give this one a play. Now, what mistake have I made there? Why is this turned back into a piano? It's because I changed it here and I didn't select this button here. I changed the patch. No problem. We can fix it. We can just go back here to our instruments and go back and add the deluxe modern here again by dragging it across, not previewing it, but dragging it and popping it there. Let's listen to this with our e-piano. Not bad, but here's the thing. I only really want that right hand. I don't want that left hand. Simple. All we need to do is take away the left hand. See, this is the thing. You can simplify things down. When you start using the session players to build up more than a three-piece band, you will want them to do less. Less is more with an overall arrangement. Let's play just the right hand. I quite like that. I think that's going to work with our track. So let's take this solo off and listen to our whole band. What do you think? That's just 10 minutes of poking instruments in here. Clearly, we can now come in and edit and adjust this. Now, I've added a chords track here, so it's using C, D minor, E minor, F. All of our instruments are following that chord progression. We can now add more chords. We can build out our song. And if you want to learn how to do all of that stuff, other videos in the description.